Hello and welcome to Electronics for Absolute Beginners. In this video, we will look at how to use a variable resistor to control the speed of a small DC motor. So what parts do we need? Well, we'll need a breadboard, a battery and a means of connecting the battery to the breadboard. We'll also need a small DC motor, a potentiometer, a terminal block, a fan blade, and a few jumper wires. So what size motor do we need? Well, small hobby DC motors range from requiring 1.5 volts to 15 volts DC. In this video I'll be using what could be classed as a mid-range hobby DC motor but typically needs somewhere in the range 1.5 volts to 6 volts. Having said that, I'll be using a 9 volt battery power supply, so when the variable resistor is not providing any resistance at all, I'll be providing more voltage than the motor needs. But as I'll only be using this higher voltage for short bursts, this won't be a problem for the motor. However, if I wanted to run the motor continually at 9 volts, it would run the risk of overheating and its life expectancy would most probably be reduced. So how does a DC motor work? When a wire carrying an electric current is placed in a magnetic field, it is subjected to a force that tries to move the wire in a particular direction. If the wire is in the form of a loop, as shown here, then one side of the wire is pushed up while the other side is pushed down. This creates a turning force, which is known as torque. The torque causes the loop of wire to rotate within the magnetic field. In a real DC motor, there would be many more loops than shown here, which would create a smoother running motor. Here we can see the circuit, which shows the DC motor, and the potentiometer, which is drawn as a variable resistor. I've used a 10K variable resistor, but don't worry if you don't have one exactly the same size as this. Try not to go too much bigger though, otherwise you won't have much control over the speed of the motor. Basically it will end up being either on or off. If you have a few variable resistors, you could try using different ones to see which ones give you the best speed control. The important thing to note is that as you adjust the resistor to vary the current, the speed of the DC motor is also adjusted. In a real life situation, you would almost certainly use a different method to control the speed of the motor, for example a gear arrangement. This is because if you reduce the current, you also reduce the power of the motor. So here is the circuit built on a breadboard. It's a pretty easy circuit to build. If you have a smaller battery pack, say 6 volts, you could use that by all means. If you go too small though, say 3 volts, unless you're using a tiny motor, it won't run very quickly. So as I adjust the variable resistor, I can control the speed of the motor. When the motor is running on a high resistance, low current setting, it's very easy to stop the motor because it's running on reduced power. However, if I run it on a low resistance, high current setting, the power is high and it is more difficult to slow the motor down. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. 